How's it going guys? My name is Dom and today I'm extremely excited to talk about template literals in JavaScript. So basically they're just advanced strings. So you can do multi-line strings and also pass data directly into the string itself. So for example, if you define a variable called uh, name equal to Dom and then you want to print out my name is Dom using the variable uh, you would normally do it like this. So you do console.log and you can say my name is and then plus name. That's the old way of doing it, right? That works obviously, we just refresh the browser and we see my name is Dom, but we're going to be using template literals to do this in a better, more neater way. So, we're just going to get rid of all this right now. Instead we're going to say console.log and we're going to use the backtick uh, character. So the top left of your keyboard, right near the one, you have these two back ticks. So that is the the symbol for the template literal. So now you can say my name is, and using a dollar sign followed by uh, curly braces, inside here is where you put your JavaScript code or logic or whatever. So for example, you can put down name. So this is saying my name is and then it's using that right there to grab the value of name. So now in the browser we'll just refresh this one and we see my name is Dom, the same result. And this is a much neater way of doing it and it looks obviously it looks it's better to read. So we can also do multi-line comments with this. For example, let's just uh, get rid of all this and we'll type out uh, console.log again using the back ticks we can then press enter look at that so now with this we can we can start doing multi-line stuff so we can say yeah mate how's it going not too bad all right let's now refresh the browser on this one and we see a multi-line string so it's very cool and very useful now we can also use this concept to actually print out HTML. So for example, if we get rid of this and then just say document.write, by the way, uh, don't use document.write, it's like a old feature and apparently it's bad to you. So don't use that, but as an example, if we just say document.write and then we can put some HTML in here. For example, we can put down uh, h1 title and even paragraph tag and say yeah mate not bad all right let's save and refresh and we get the full-on HTML on the page using the multi-line string all right so that is all I have on our template literals in JavaScript thank you for watching and see you later